Hello and welcome to my little vlog about the Minecraft vanilla single player survival custom map making. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, some things and that's why we are not having any B version because I'm going to show myself as well. This is area 5 um, so let's start by perhaps looking about. Um, this is one thing uh, yeah, not going to tell you what. This is, however, this I can tell you. This is the clay thing. So that's it. And according to what I've heard, Galactic, Philonius Galacticus' son has been watching something he calls television, television, or something like that. Uh, and Philonius has no idea what it's all about but since he built it upwards it was okay yeah and this <laughs> this dirt is actually also one of the things um, yeah and suddenly I just had to test what Ron said about getting grass in so I've been trying to lead grass in we'll see if we need it no we don't we do not need it at all and this grey thingy, I'll be back about that. Oh, and here's the puzzle. It's a very simple puzzle. I'm not totally sure that you are able to see. Oh, yes, you are. If you're watching... Why don't I use this one? It's easier to point. There are four sand blocks. Yes, I put sand blocks up there. And I did it with Ron's version of... Um, mm -mm, dirt and rose bushes. Yes, I actually used rose bushes. So, if you can update one of those, and how do you update a sand block? Well, let me tell you this. You cannot just shoot a, your, an arrow at it. So, perhaps there is another way. Well, before I removed this, the roses, actually I removed the dirt blocks. I didn't bother with the roses. They just fall. I put a little button over there. Yeah, and this is about the spot you should stand. So there you are. Now, it will. Why do I use four? Well, I don't know totally sure how many of these ones are going to fall, but with them, the redstone up above will also fall. At the moment, it is active, and that means that the pistons they are active. They are out. So when you shoot at that one, the pistons goes in and you can leave area 5. And there will be some redstone falling down. Now the point with this, this all this stuff is that Felonius Galacticus wants to see how good the player is at thinking logic. And if he is using everything that he gets his hands on in order to get to the next part. Remember, this is a simulate simulator. We are just simulating some sort of word in here. This is just a simulator. The real person is sitting behind a keyboard. <laughs> I still like that idea. Okay, here's the shelter. Oops, the sun's going down. It might be a bit tricky. Now the shelter... Oh, up there is the lever. It's not far away. Um, and inside here will be a frame with a book uh, and I will probably put there behind the door I will put a multiplayer um, frame block and book but I have been rethinking don't mind the door I have no idea why the door is there I really don't know I'll get back to that one I suppose now the multiplayer thing not totally sure that I need it. Actually, I don't really don't know. Because it may be that the whole gang, if you're four or five that's playing this at the same time, maybe you want to help you, let's call the, it the first player or the first person. Maybe you just want to help him. It really doesn't matter if you are anyone else or any other character. And why do I suddenly discuss this? Well, it's easy. Mr. Ron's Malik suddenly discussed and debated about 
being a character. He never plays anyone else but himself. And I really don't understand that, because he's a role player. I know that he's a role player. He's a very good one as well. So, I doubt that he really plays himself, but according to him, that's exactly what he does. And if that's so, then we don't need any characters more than, well, what's the, the question is about. It's no reason for me to make up several other characters for multiplayer, because they will also just be playing themselves, won't they? Look at the cow, it's gleaming. Oh, what are you doing up there? Do not ruin my little breadstone, please. Yep, this is going to be very exciting. Um, I'll be back back at the, the second part I want to talk about, show you. I almost forgot. We need to check something else. I have decided that uh, our little um, ghosts need, of course, have a cap. So they are going to have a cap. I don't want them to freeze. You never know. This is the valley, the road through the valley. And yes, it's growing trees. I like that. Perhaps I should have one more here, but I do have that one. Now that is also some strange idea, but I really didn't know that you could put carpet on top of uh, pumpkins. Um, it really doesn't matter if it's a jack-o'-lantern or just an ordinary pumpkin. But Ron, you might be interested in this. Perhaps you want to have some carpeting on your NPCs. That could be cool, actually. Yes, it costs more wool, but you do have a whole farm of cheap. I'll kill mine. <laughs> okay, I will s we'll take that road and we'll see each other back at the Testificates village. Well, here's my little, should we call it the end? I'm also using it as a sand block mine. I'll close that later on. I'm not totally sure if this is going to be the, the end. I have really not uh, knowing it. But I have made some sort of apartment with several doors. And then I moved three guys from a village over there. And the first thing that happens was there were hearts all over the place. And what a smith, a blacksmith suddenly appeared. Now he's gone. That blacksmith is gone. And then when I came over here, another one, a little one, and here we have them. There are four now. So I suppose... Oh, it's one of those. Okay. While I am gone, it's growing up. And it might be that it's... Well, perhaps it's falling. Perhaps I should have put some sort of fencing up here. But I did hire one of these guys. I think it's a good one. And then it is... Of course they can fall down into this r ravine. What I'm going to do later on is to start making more of these guys because I would love to have like at least double numbers, double digits of guys welcoming you if you succeed in 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 the yeah, the thing. And I will also want to test now that we have the chance what will happen if you get a zombie testificate, a zombie villager, and make him good again, cure him. What would he do? And what kind of trades will he do? And what kind of ta tasks will he do? Because I'm going to put more, let's say that I could use this villager, the smith, is it? Or is it the butcher? I can't really remember these guys. Okay, that was a good one. Yes, but I'm not really in yeah, why not? Let's test that. Hmm, yeah, he liked that. Now, go don't just run away. I want to see what's the what you did for second ones. I came for seconds. Yes, ten for a diamond axe. <laughs> well, it's not the worst trade I've ever seen. 
Well, these guys are not really trading. He can't trade anymore. I've traded him enough. Yeah, I did that before I really um, moved him. So I'm going to... Oh, look at this. Unbreaking too. Yeah. Now, so I'm going to move from, I think you call it Testor. Um, whatever is left of those guys. I have decided to remove Testor from my map. It's not going to be there. It really doesn't matter because the player can't reach it as far as I know. Do not fall down now, please, Mr. Iron Golem. I don't like it when you're up here. And um, then I will, as I said, try to make some of these guys cured. And I will do that uh, with some sort of... Oh, I don't know what this is called. It's, it's when you have an, 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 an a room where they can't... where you decompress the stuff. Oh dear, I need to check this. <laughs> I get some other uh, word in my mind, so I really need to get the real one. Um, it's loose. I had that name. It's a lock. Yeah. Passage lock. So um, they can uh, be cured on that side and then I will let them in this side. Now I heard that, or if I read it, no I think I heard it, something about iron bars making it uh, hasty. But I've tried this at least a couple of times. Uh, I don't remember if you remember that relaxing in 1.5 I did, I had a world where I did some survival. I did a lot of that stuff making more villagers and that's where I tested this one. I think it's... I, you need at, at least 20 doors. I think I got 30 on this one. I'm not totally sure. I haven't counted them. Um, and um, let's do that. I think it's the same on each side, so why not? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 4, that's 24, and then we get 1, 2, 3, 4 more, that's 8. Uh, that's 32 doors, that's nice. Um, and when the testificates reach, I think it's 10, when they get 10, Iron Golem might spawn natural. You see, he's got hurt. I don't want you to get hurt. How do I make you to not get hurt? You don't like the rose bushes. Should I move them? Never mind. Now, if there is anything about making more wheat or something like that in 1.8, I have made something about that as well. I'm going to read up on that. But I doubt that there will be any miners and stuff. Perhaps we should make a library inside one of these somewhere. Uh, I'll get back to that after I've been uh, tearing down Testor. But this is a, a thing I hoped, I can see now that I was hoping wrong, I hoped that they will do this uh, breeding stuff while I was gone, but they're only breeding when I'm close by, of course. So it's the same old stuff. Now that's not a point, because I can go over here and do that sometimes. Yes, Mr. Golem. Yes, you're doing good work. And you will get another eye golem over here. If I can make him go by rail, that is. Did you see anyone? Dear, dear. It's a lot of running, I must say. I don't like it when you run that fast. I think it's a bug. Well, I think I've got a bed in here so I can sleep afterwards. So this is why these rails are here. It's because I want to bring villagers from Testor this way and they just went inside there and then I popped their minecart and they are loose to run around and they do it one block down. Don't ju I need to fence this in, don't I? Feels like it. Well, I'll try to do that as well then. That's it for this time. Now I'm going to work this weekend so I probably won't have any new um, vlog about this uh, unless next week 
somewhere perhaps late next week but then it's vacation time for me so perhaps I will sit this but I still this is relaxing this is fun <laughs> this is getting another idea and I totally love what Ron and his series that's so much fun and we have a cos what you call him cos bitter cos litter never mind we do have one more uh, guy on this and if you feel like no oh, it's too late I don't want to do something small do something very small build a rocket in survival do I don't know build something it really doesn't matter perhaps you could build a train inside the desert and that's it just making something in vanilla is actually also rather good and now that you've seen where we find everything and stuff so why not try it out it's fun it is fun but making an adventure map that's even more right thanks for watching